Everybody ready? Buzz, your, fix your backpack. <laughs> fix your backpack, Buzz. I'm ready. Yeah. Brady's ready to throw up in the truck. We've been there. You think that's what it's about? <laughs> Not in our experience. <laughs> Made it to Waco. Where are we eating? Taco Bell. <laughs> it's like our go-to. But, but why? Because it's good. What do you mean, why? Well, because it's cheap and we have these guys. Yeah. Somebody forgot their crate. They have to be with us the whole time. Ah. Brady, Brady, are you so excited? Good boy. This is your bed. Put Buzz up there. <laughs> Don't push Buzz off. Are you happy, Brady? <laughs> no, not that one. Dang it. That's our bed. It's probably dirty enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. See what you did? Well, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the video. It's a little bit of footage leading up to this. Um, what what are we going to talk about today, Matthew? We're talking about what I do outside. <laughs> so yeah, we're building a, a house. And so <laughs> we have the, we have an if idea of... Know. Right. And we have plans now. Or we have the first set of plans, we'll say. That's not the finalized set because we're still uh, figuring out the final budget as well. That's very important, I guess, to start this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the whole final budget, knowing what everything's going to cost and then making it fit. And then from there, you, you can adjust. So right now, I'm trying to uh, supplement that budget with some sweat equity. And so what that <laughs> means is basically I'm out there uh, clearing the land, making sure everything is, is ready for septic, ready for the foundation, uh, that we can even start working around to find out the orientation of the building itself. We are doing the final burn of all the because you know we're out in the country a little bit we're doing the final burn of all the kind of debris that we pulled out of the trees and that, that we cleared from the land out there once we have that then we can actually put stakes in the ground and find not, out the orientation not the meat <laughs> no no 
like tent stakes, or we can just spray paint. We'll probably end up just spray painting. We are in some rocky soil, so what I'm gonna have to do next is actually dig down and uh, see how far I can go. So I need about 12 inches everywhere that I'm digging, and that's mostly for the plumbing side of it, because we're having to run plumbing from the other house through. I mean, and we're still getting that kind of finalized being the best option uh, for water. And then we still might even have to put a electric, like uh, get poles to be put in. So those are our challenges. Uh, but then everything else is pretty well planned out. We already have uh, sort of a ballpark budget. We're still finalizing that with uh, certain contractors we might need, like electrical. I don't trust myself with electric. Just we'll tell y'all straight up what everything's costing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then also where we're supplementing with our own, like I said, sweat equity, uh, putting our own you know talents to work. And so you can pick up some rocks. <laughs> <laughs> we need, we need I will rocks. do what I can. Yeah. I'll do what you let me. And so, uh, yeah, after that burn, everything it will start being planned out. So that means the pylons will be set, or, you know, footings, I guess, will be set uh, for the containers. And then from there, we'll be ready to bring the containers in, which that's a whole other challenge in itself, because it's a 40-foot container, and we're having to do a 90-degree turn on part of our road. Yeah, here's to hoping. Yeah, there's a lot. So, but the actual l layout of mm -hmm. the house... Um, you've got a friend, well, he friend of ours slash business, business partner, partner for one of your businesses. He has this really cool, I don't know what it's called. He has some CAD software, and so that's actually how we figured out the rest of the plan mm -hmm. and actually changed our plan. Because mm -hmm. he had written down on a piece of paper, so he started putting it into the system, and we were working with the layout, mostly the internal portion of it, figuring mm -hmm. out where the rooms would go, where all of, you know, the electric, like the appliances, the yep. plumbing, all of that's going to be going. It gives you specific measurements. Um, so, I don't know, it's really, really cool. So what we decided, we're going to be having two bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, and then a little study slash office, YouTube room slash nursery for, you Which know, is connected a, to the a little later bedroom. down the road. Yeah. Um, because, you know, the baby's going to sleep in our room for a good while, but it's connected to the main, mm -hmm. um, the master bedroom, and so it just opens up into the little nursery area, so whenever little baby Wyatt is a little bit bigger and she sleeps in, in, a, in a crib, uh, yeah. that's where that'll be. And then... Um, we're gonna have a like a big shower, and the other bathroom is gonna have a tub. A tub eventually. So, <laughs> again, we're also doing this on a, a pretty tight budget. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to at least. Um, so we'll probably do it actually in portions, which is kind of fun for me. You know, it's like you don't want to have all the fun at once. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I would say more so. It's less of a restriction. We just get the basics done so we can live in it. And then it's kind of a home improvement project after we move in. Yep, and we can do that kind of uh, not piecemeal really. It's uh, we actually just do it in portions. So we'll probably get all the way to the flooring done along with all of our, like, the master wing. Because it is, I guess, like two two separate wings of the house. Uh, even though it's not, it's like a 1,200 square foot house. So um, one side, we're mainly just going to focus on getting the bedroom finished out, which has a closet, uh, bathroom. And then on that same <laughs> side, outside of that, that room, like in the main hallway room, I guess, or however you want to call it, the great room. The great, the living area. Yeah, the living area. Uh, we have a kitchen. a kitchen. So as long as we can finish those sections out, then everything else can come later. Mm -hmm. um, and we still have to plumb everything. We still have to put electric in everywhere. And so, yeah, it's really not a lot to it, just a lot to it. You know yeah. what I mean? So uh, each section is, is not a lot. It's just there's a lot of sections. So and then there's a lot out. of little things to plan yeah. in the next. But as soon as y'all see the containers on the ground outside of here, Bam, things are gonna go fast. That's the bulk of it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that means that we're we're on. So I mean, uh, that means budgets working, everything like that. So that's the biggest hurdle. So as soon as we get those planted out here, then uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, because from there it's <laughs> it's just work. You know? Framing and, and yeah, and all we're that. we're hoping to have that done within the next I would say two maybe three weeks, probably three weeks. The containers. The containers okay. on the ground here. You will show me working out there, and uh, we'll show kind of. Uh, the different plans that come up, and so we're gonna, I think, document the entire thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping to actually write some blogs for the website as well throughout this, like my thoughts, my actual thoughts, not mm -hmm. just what I portray on, I guess, YouTube. You so let us know in the comments below what you guys want to see from this journey. Um, I know it seems kind of like we're moving fast into it, but it's, it's been a long time planning. We just haven't talked about it because we wanted to have plans solidified before we mentioned it to you guys. I mean, we've got four months. So we're, we're getting this thing moving. And now that we've got a little bit better idea of the budget, um, that's why things are going to pick up a lot faster. 
which is good because that's that's what we need to happen <laughs> so yeah. i'm i'm really excited looking at the layout on that program was really cool because it's one thing to see it on paper have it in your head or look at pictures of something that might be similar but we actually had the specific layout of what this is most likely going to look like but just seeing the layout and knowing that this is what will be happening it's really exciting um, and we can do a video talking about the rv I don't know, it's been almost two years since we've been in here it's been over 600 days since we've lived in this full time well over that i thought so we've got a lot of thoughts about it it'll be another video yeah. another video but let us know what you guys want to see from the series we're still thinking about the name uh we got a lot of good suggestions we just need to sit down and figure out for sure the name that'll be the playlist that'll be the series name and then it's the mat cave <laughs> that's the trailer oh <laughs> we're not obviously we're not getting rid of the trailer yeah. here uh, i'm actually going to build something off the side of the, the house for the trailer eventually again that's another step down the road along with the deck <laughs> but so. if you guys have any questions leave those in the comments below and we can do a full video of you know a full q a on this specific thing uh in the future but saturday we're gonna have an actual q a um just on anything so we've got some people that have sent us questions on instagram and facebook so if y'all have any other questions that you want to see answered in saturday's video leave them below and we will include them i That's believe we it. will that more, will be more exciting updates to come. We're going to go, he's got meetings and I've got workouts. Work. So yeah, we're going to go get stuff done. Cool. Thanks for watching. Make sure. Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Have fun out there, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hair is going today. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs>